Christina from Redefine Creative and I am here with a monthly sketch from the Stick It Down design team and this is the sketch that we are going to be working with for November and so when I worked with this sketch I took that metal section and kind of expanded it out so rather than having that long rectangle across the top and the bottom those are going to become some triangles and I'm going to take that middle section and make it much bigger so I can accommodate a really big title. So I had these craft colored um, chipboard letters and these came out of like the dollar spot at Target. They had the packs that had like two different color alphabets in them so it was a white and a craft and that's where these letters came from. And then I took a bunch of pictures from a recent trip that we had taken to a new aquarium in our hometown and I printed those as two by two photos. So super simple way that I do that here at home um, just on my photo printer is I put all my photos into the Project Life app and when you do that you can make a photo collage of 2x2 two two photos on a 4x6 piece of photo paper and then I just printed them out. And so I'm going to have five photos across the top of the title and five photos across the bottom of the title and I kind of play a lot with where I want them to be and how I want them to be placed and then I go ahead and glue those down and then I grabbed this piece of older Teresa Collins pattern paper that has, it's a white background with craft spots. And I'm going to use that on the diagonal across the top and the bottom. And then I also have those two little arrows that you see. I picked those up from Tuesday morning, and I believe they're from an old Pink Paisley uh, collection. And they're silver and white striped on the other side, but I wanted just the plain white, so I just simply flipped them over. And then I had some sticker elements from Graphic 45 that were kind of an ocean mermaid type of theme. And that's where you see me pulling off those sticker borders that I'm using across the top and the bottom. And that phrase there just says, I love you more than all the fish in the sea. And that's going to go across the top. And then I used the little scallopy border across the bottom um, half of the layout. And you'll see that here in a second when I move it back up. Um, but that's just going to add some detail and kind of pull in all of those turquoise colors that are in my photos and kind of tie the entire layout together. And then I'm going to go ahead and um, put those arrows back on the top and the bottom row and I'm kind of checking around looking at other embellishments kind of trying to see what I'm going to do. I do place these letters a whole bunch of times on this layout, trying to make sure that I have them just the way I want them and that I like them. And it takes me a while to make sure that I have them spaced the way I want. And then I decide what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and stitch all the way around with some like aqua colored embroidery uh, thread. So I punched some holes and I did that. And then I went ahead and put them on foam and popped them up a little bit off the page. I added a little bit of journaling down in that bottom right hand corner. And that pretty well did it for this layout. So I hope you will join us at Stick It Down this month using this really fun sketch that accommodates a lot of photos. And we'll see you again soon. Bye!